Anna Wannick needs no introduction. She is the reigning American Rivers Conference A-Flight Singles Champion. Nice job, Anna. But before her championship, she needed an introduction. She spent her first two years playing just basketball at Mankato State. I really had a few expectations coming into the season and beating some tough opponents. I really kind of had a goal in my mind, you know, I really could do this. What does it feel like to win a conference championship? Pretty indescribable. I don't think it really hit me until a few weeks after when I really actually had time to sit down and think about it. In 2020, Wanick caught everyone by surprise as the hunter. Now, as the defending champion, she will be hunted by the rest of the conference. I definitely knew coming into the season that, that I would have a target on my back. Um, honestly, I just try to take it one day at a time. I don't really think about it that much. I try not to let it affect how I'm playing. Target on our back or not, it's, it's, it's a, the game of tennis is, is the way that it's played. And so you go out, you play your best, and if you're the best one that day, then you're the best one that day. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, everyone at the ARC tournament could only play singles or doubles. In 2021, it's back to normal. Everyone will be playing both, meaning Wanick and Emily King can chase a title in doubles. We, like, have this telepathy thing going on. Like, I just know where she's hitting it before she even, like, gets the ball. Until September 11th of this year, Wanick had never lost a college singles match. But Nebraska Westland's Brooke Saylor knocked her off 6-4, 6-3. Definitely kind of adds a little chip on my shoulder, a little extra motivation. It adds fuel to the fire and um, gets me amped up. With pressure easily built up, Wanick just wants to end her career on a high note. Expectations for next weekend. Honestly, just go out there, have fun. It's my last season out here. I know Anna's got it in her to do it again, but I'm not going to hold it over her head that that's what we're expecting. I expect her to go out and try her best. I can go out there and just be able to say that I played my hardest. The team travels to Sioux City this weekend and gets the tournament underway on Friday. From Indianola, Jake Brend, SCTV.